Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the for loops in uh, SQL. So the for loops are the most common loops that we have uh, heard about uh, in any programming language. Most of the times we use for loops and uh, they serve the basic purpose that uh, any programmer needs. So we'll discuss about the for loops in PostgreSQL. So for loop in PostgreSQL, firstly it creates an um, integer variable, a counter. Suppose uh, in any programming language we use uh, for i equal to 0, i is less than some uh, number n and uh, i plus plus. So similarly in SQL, a counter is created that uh, exists inside the loop. So by default the counter is uh, added after each iteration that is a very common step in each and every of the programming language. So um, for example if we want to use a reverse counter like uh, if we use this for i equal to 10 i is uh, less than 1 i minus minus. So if you want to use a reverse counter we also have this provision in the in this case if you want to use the you know the decrementer for loop so reverse keyword is the key for uh, the reverse for loop so secondly we have a from and to expression that is from i equal to 0 to i equal to 10 so this is the from and the to expression that specifies the lower and the upper boundary basically of the for loop or it specifies the range so next uh, we have an expression that is the by clause so by how much you want to increment for example we use i plus plus or inside the loop we do i plus 2 i plus 3 if you want to increment to two times or three times so similarly we have this by clause here so for for uh, some value example if you want to do a for loop here so We'll just do for from 0 to 15 and we increment by 10 or increment by 2 increment by 3 so this is the this is the you know basic working of the by clause inside the postgresql so we created a test database uh, a long time back so we just come back to it and we have some tables in it we have company tables so today we're going to use the for loop here and we're gonna just select some values from here and just print those values uh, using the for loop so i'll just we'll just create a function first of all for that so we'll just create a function in the normal test database that we created so that we could use the company table that we created earlier on so I recommend that you should create your own company table or you could just go back to the basic tutorials that we created um, to just have an idea about the normal syntax or the SQL queries so we'll just uh, create a function now for the for loop so we'll just to create or replace function fetch an integer and we don't want to return anything we'll just display so return void that means to not return anything and we'll just declare a record so what this statement means is that record is basically a keyword in postgresql and it returns a record or it represents a column inside a table so for example if you want to select data from the company table it would be representing a column inside my company table so this is this is basically a keyword from which we will select our uh, table and through which we will be displaying each and everything in our table so we'll just begin now and for this is the basic syntax of for loop for we'll use this record that we created for emp in select and name so we had some columns that is id name age address salary and department so we will just select the name so for emp in and select name 
from company table and we will just order by age and uh, we will just put a limit that would be n so we insert a limit here that is we take up a limit of the number that you want to display or the record that you want to display and we just set the limit here and we'll just use the for loop for uh, you know taking this so for i told you that uh, we can use the bias statement in the for loop so i'm not using any bias statement so by default it increments the loop by one only so if we don't use any by so it basically does i plus plus or increments only by one so we'll just do loop and we'll print that is the raise notice that is a way to print you could use anything and i'm using a notice way to you know print so just use the emp that i told you that we created for displaying everything dot name and just end loop and end and uh, just end with language pl pg sql just run it and we have an error here mm, return oh it will be returns and execute execute it successfully now we will see that uh, we have a function here and just refresh and we have a fetcher so you just go here select fetcher of 5 and we see that get void oh we just need to check the messages because it was a notice here a notice statement it uh, comes inside the messages section <coughs> not inside the data output so if you could see that uh, it prints a notice of five people that uh, we uh, demanded so for example if we set the limit to 10 it would give me a notice of 10 people now but see i get 10 people now so this was a basic for loop so this is being printed with the help of for loop so here if you could see the code that is emp is used to represent the table the record that i told you so it contains the name the emp it contains name now from the company table and it is being ordered by age and limit is the variable that we pass from here so it is being looped and it raises a notice for emp dot table so at the first instance it is one so it prints the first name inside the emp dot table so as i told you no by statement increments by one comes again inside and uh, executes the thing that is inside the loop and raises notice again for two increments raises notice for three and similarly for ten so guys this was the basic for loop that we could use in postgresql so guys thank you for watching this tool subscribe for more and stay tuned